Welcome back to MK Gadgets. Today we're over at the Craftsman Lathe and we're going to make a safety switch for the chuck key. If you ever leave your chuck key in the chuck and turn it on, it's very dangerous. It could throw this key across the room and hit somebody who's not paying attention or hit yourself. Now in high school I had a shop teacher who was really big in safety and if he ever saw you do something unsafe, he'd throw a hammer at you. And recently my friend John was over and we were making some tap handles and he left the chuck key in there and launched it into the wall. But good thing I got diamond plate. So I have this box here mounted on the belt cover and there was two holes already drilled in there. I measured them and they were 200 thousandths in diameter. A quarter 20 bolts is 201. So I, I screwed a two quarter 20 bolts through the cover and into the bracket I made. And this is really important because you don't want these bolts to fall out and get caught in the gears because it probably would break something. Piece of PVC, an electrical box, a switch, and a custom made bracket which will go to the bench and I'll show you the internal parts. So how it works is pretty simple. Right now with the chuck key and if I would forget about it and I go to turn it on nothing happens. Place the chuck key in the holder there's a little switch in there turns power on the lathe and now it works. So there's a few reasons why I did this. Not only is this a safety item, so you don't launch the chuck key across the room, hurt yourself or damage something, but it makes you put the chuck key back all the time, because many times I'll set it in the chip pan, I'll set it on my cart, and I'm always looking for it. Once you get in the habit of doing this, you always put the chuck key back. And the third reason why I did this is, well, I needed a project to make. So let me take this off the lathe, and we'll go over to the workbench, we'll take it all apart, and we'll look at how it was made. Now if this is something you want to do, it involves electricity and a switch, you should have a licensed electrician who's familiar with machine tools do this. I'll see you over at the workbench. We're over at the workbench, and you can see how this chuck key fits into this piece of PVC. Really nice. I didn't have to modify it at all. In the diameter. I did have to drill two holes to screw it on. The box I used is an outdoor waterproof box and it has these waterproof connectors on the bottom. I don't run coolant on there but I figure if it's waterproof it should keep out chips. These are pretty nice boxes. The whole project cost me about $30. The switch was $15, the box and the fittings were about $7 and the cord was about $8. So let's take it apart and see what we got here. So I had to drill holes through the top of the PVC to get my screwdriver in there. And I had this thing together and apart, I don't know how many times. The top hole I had to go in with a quarter inch drill because I had a chamfer at the bottom of the hole so the screw would lie flush. So I don't know if you can see in there. But if that screw sticks out like on this side, you see how the screw sits out on that side, the chuck key won't go in there. On the top side, I had a chamfer the bottom of the hole with a quarter inch drill bit so the screw would sit flush. So now when I put the chuck key in there, it fits in there real nice. I had to drill a hole, which I used an end mill, and I went back and forth till I got the hole the right size. So when it, the top of the chuck key comes down, it hits a switch through that hole. So this is a custom cover I made, and made out of a scrap piece of sheet metal I had. 
about 60 thousandths thick. I drilled two holes to mount it to the lathe, two holes to mount it to the electrical box, and I milled the oval in there so the switch can stick out, stick through the piece of PVC. So with the cover off, you're gonna see the custom made bracket. Now I spent a lot of time making this. And it started out with, as a piece of aluminum, one inch square, I think it's 40 thousandths wall. I got this out of my scrap bin. So on the top, I had to find the location of these two holes to screw it to. And I had a machine a slot for the switch to come through. Now if you listen, you can hear it click. So that's, then I know it's making contact. On the back, I had a mill of slot so the switch could go in there. And I drilled and tapped two holes. There's a hole through the switch. And I put a screw in there and it slid in there pretty good. It's so tight I only used one of the screws. That one wasn't necessary. So you just go green to ground, white to each other, and the black wires to the switch. The switch I got at Granger for about $15. So it's really that's all it's to it. Take you a couple hours to make this. Like I said, the most of the time was on his bracket, trying to get it to fit in there really nice. Then it had a notch around this area here in the top and bottom. And today we made this chuck key holder. And it's important for a couple of reasons. One, it keeps it safe so it doesn't, it's not left in a chuck when a chuck is started. The second thing, it's a nice place to store a chuck key so you can always find it. You're not leaving it in your chip pan or, in, or some other place. While we're talking about lathe safety and chuck key safety, there was a recent article in the paper where a young man was killed operating a lathe at work where the string from his hoodie got entangled in his workpiece and pulled him into the work and he was killed. So this is a string on my sweatshirt I wear out here in the shop sometimes. And right now I'm just pulling that string out and I'm gonna throw that string away. Now my sweatshirt's a little safer. If you have long hair, tie it back. You never want any loose clothing caught in your lathe, your chuck, your work, your work piece, your tailstock, anything. It could pull you in here and you could be killed. $30, I think I did a pretty good job in making this. I did research on YouTube and I didn't find anybody that had any kind of safety switch like this for their lathe. Now you can use this on a milling machine, a drill press, anything with a chuck key or any other device you, you can come up with. Another, another nice thing about this, it becomes a, a lockout device. So if you remove your chuck key and you'll hide it or you lock it up, unauthorized people or your kids can't come here and operate that. So this is MK Gadgets. We did something a little different here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please tell your friends. Leave a comment if you think this is important in your shop. This is MK Gadgets, out.